Welcome to Take Your Clothing. I'm Brandon, and these are my top five tents to kick off your 2020 camping season. All right, I'm gonna take you through a number of tents that the industry has out there right now that are just absolutely fantastic. Now, when you get out into the wilderness, there's a number of different types of camping that you can do. People like to hike, they like to overnight, they like to car camp. Some people sleep inside their cars all the time, I think. But really what it comes down to is how do you wanna experience your space when you're out in the wilderness? Is an ultra lightweight option gonna be your pick of the litter? Or are you looking for something that's more practical that you can set up for maybe a week at a time, two weeks, something that's gonna sustain you while you're enjoying the great outdoors for long stretches of time. Now this is my top five list. If you're interested in any of these tents, I have links in the description below. And really all I want you to do is go explore. Go and check them out. See what would work for you. See what other options, color options, uh, feature options that they have out there. Get invested in spending time in the outdoors because there's no way to really reset your clock recharge your batteries and getting out. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, coming in at number five is the REI Co-op Quarter Dome 2. This is a roomy tent that's easy on the wallet. It can fit one, two, three people, also comes in a hammock version. It comes in weighing at three pounds at 11 ounces, and really there's a number of reasons why this one made it to number five out of all the options out there. It's affordable, it has great ventilation, and it has two doors and vestibules on each side, which is awesome if you're planning on doing extended stay in this tent and you're looking to pack some more stuff underneath the shelter. And like most tents, this is freestanding, which means that your tent poles will prop it up to have it stand on its own. And you can buy a footprint for this tent. Now no, when I say footprint for all these tents, it means that it's protective fabric that you can pack that will protect your tent from the forest floor. I like that this tent has a large roof vent and large vestibules that really can keep you protected and all the stuff's accessible when you're in nasty weather. Coming in at number four is the Big Agnes Fly Creek HV UL2. Now this tent comes in lighter than the last tent by more than a pound. This tent can fit one to three people and has a carbon and platinum version that can make this tent even lighter. This is a tent for people who are looking for an ultralight option and small pack size. Now really the bottom line with this tent, it is one of the lightest double wall freestanding tents on the market right now. And really to save all that weight, they had to cut some corners somewhere and where they did that was the interior floor space. Now I wouldn't necessarily call this a two person tent if you're buying the two person option, but more like a one person tent with good room for your gear. So if you are looking to get this tent for two people, I would just bite the bullet, bump up to the three person version and call it good. Now, if money's not a big issue for you and you want to save a few more ounces, think about upgrading to the Tiger Wall tent. It provides a lot more interior space, has two doors and vestibules. Now the platinum version of the Fly Creek is lighter, but it's more expensive and uses thinner materials. But if you are thinking about upgrading to the platinum version, a footprint is incredibly important because it's going to protect your tent. And for most of the people that are gonna be using this tent that are not incredible, way out in the distance, bat out back enthusiasts, uh, this is gonna be something that's gonna be a necessity. Now coming in at number three is the Helberg Engine 3. Now a lot of you guys know that practicality is really, really important to me when I'm picking my gear. And when I'm out picking gear for myself, I'm not necessarily always looking for something that's gonna make an enjoyable event even more enjoyable. I'm looking for something that's gonna make an event that can turn into a terrible event and bring it back to enjoyable. And that's what this tent does for me. This tent comes in weighing at 3.8 ounces and is a great option for two and three person adventure groups. They also have a GT version, which basically doubles the size of your vestibule. I think this is awesome. I think it's innovative. And I don't think that this tent or this company gets enough props for doing that. And really the pros of this tent, it's lightweight, especially for the amount of space that you're getting and the amount of protection from the elements that you're gonna get from the wind and the wet weather. Now, just a few cons on this tent is that it is quite a bit expensive, almost twice as much as the last two tents. It only has one door and it's not freestanding, which means in order to prop this tent up, you're going to need to take it down. But even with all of that said, I still feel like this is an incredible option, especially for the GT version. Now you might be wondering, is this the right tent for you? And it would be if you're someone who's usually camping above the tree line, you're in harsh climate or weather environments, and you need a solid lightweight protecting option for that. If it's just you and a buddy going out on these outdoor excursions, you might consider upgrading to the three-person version. That will give you the option to really bring the important gear and protect it from the elements 
If you're planning on an extended stay, look at that GT version again. This is just an incredible option. They have a footprint available for it. Go ahead and check it out. Now coming in at number two is the Z-Pax Duplex and Triplex. Now this one takes my number two spot because it is the best ultralight backpacking shelter, weighing in at one pound and 14 ounces. And the biggest reason why I picked this tent for my best ultra lightweight option is because of the DCF fabric that they're using. It's not going to absorb water, it's not going to sag when water's on it, and it's puncture resistant. All in all, making this tent more durable and lighter than most of the other options that are out there. Now this tent isn't freestanding, but you can use your trekking poles to prop this tent up. That means that this tent can pack up incredibly small and take up almost no space in your pack. Now really the only two cons that I could find with this tent is that because of its design, it does take a little bit more time to set up and the fact that it's a single wall tent, you're going to have to deal with condensation buildup as you sleep in it through the night. Now bottom line, this is my favorite ultra lightweight tent for through hiking and long distance adventures. It provides great interior space and the livability factor with this tent is high. Now ultimately, if you're looking for an extreme far out adventure, the type that kind of leaves you like, see a city, I'm not gonna be back for a few days, weeks, I don't know this is your option. Now, before I get into my number one pick, I just wanna say thank you for watching up to this point. I love the outdoors, and I know there's a lot of people out there that do as well, but there's a ton of people who don't know where to start when it comes to getting yourself prepared to getting out. For those people, for the people who are searching, for the people who are wanting to do more research, again, I put, com I put the links in the comments below. These are going to help you guys start at a really good spot, better than most people. Um, but they're not the last option. Do some research, have fun, and get out. Now let's jump into my number one. And coming in at number one is the Big Agnes Copper Spur HVUL2. Now for a lot of you who know about tents, you might be drawing a question mark. This is not the lightest tent. It's also not the cheapest. And it's not the most expensive. As far as on paper features goes, this one might just fall right in the middle of the pack. And it's going to be the one that's looked over the most. Now this tent weighs in just over three pounds. It's around $450, but don't let it fool you. That's about where the average things on this tent end. This tent comes in a number of options. It comes in the one to four person options. The two person and three person have lightweight options, but also in the UL2 Mountain Glow and the UL3 Mountain Glow, you get a built-in light strip. That's just blowing my mind for functionality. It's ultra light, it's roomy, it's easy to set up. All features that should come on any tent this thing's got it. But the focus for me on this tent is when you get to the doors and vestibules. Now, like a lot of tents, this door has a two-door setup. But the vestibules have been built in such a way that you can prop them up as almost shade casters or, or to be able to provide you with the extended coverage to be able to come in and out of your tent without really exposing the walls of the interior part of your tent to the elements. It is freestanding and the rainfly works without trekking poles, but if you want to prop up the vestibules like you see here, you are gonna need those trekking poles. And really what it comes down to is that this tent is the most versatile living option that I can find. And for me, again, practicality is number one. I love this option. It really has the best combination of weight, interior space, and weather protection out of any option out there, certainly out of any option on the list that I have today. Now these are my top five tents for you. These are the options that I love. I've done my research on them. There's some, they are the ones that I would pick, but there's hundreds of options out there go out, find what's gonna work for you. Again, I put the links in the description below if you're interested. This is Take Your Clothing. I'm Brandon, and we'll catch you in the next one. Yes. Did it. I did it, did it, did it.